everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by please do consider subscribing i trust you will find my video very interesting you can check out my other videos here on youtube and i'm definitely sure you're going to learn one or two things and you'll find it very interesting so do consider subscribing okay now if you're a returning subscriber you know i got my love for you okay guys so please 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 stay back and enjoy this video okay so today's video guys is going to be more more off or more like a reaction video if that makes sense so i'm going to be reacting to a particular video i watched here on youtube and yeah let's just dive right into it so like the topic or like the title of this video is red flags green flags i guess most of you must have a guess to what i'm going to talk about is yes relationship is the truth i'll talk about relationship today this video is going to be more of like what you should know things you should look out for the good, the bad, the ugly in the relationship before accepting the engagement ring or before even engaging a girl or before walking down the aisle. Yes. So it's more of it's more of do not be under peer pressure to get married, okay? So first of all, I'm going to talk about the video that I saw online. I'm going to play a, the clip for you guys first of all. So you guys watch this clip. Making little money, I'm not rich, I'm not a billionaire, I'm, I'm just I'm just getting started. Uh. I'm not looking for a billionaire, I'm looking for a comfortable guy. Be able to do basic things. What does things. comfortable mean? Comfortable for me, have a house, have a car. When basic you say things. have a house in your name, like buy a house no, or rent a house. No, no, in his name now, you have his own house. But, but how many men have bought houses that are, are, are in this? Then, 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 then something's wrong. Because even <laughs> me as a young girl, I don't think. Because, no, because it's, that means, that means you don't even have, you don't have a future, you are not, you just can't be with me. Because me, I'm a young girl. I'm already paying small, small. Every month, I go squeeze money, pay, squeeze money. Before mm -hmm. you know, I go, I don't pay, finish. Mm -hmm. So you cannot come and tell me. You no, know, because I even get past anybody at the mm -hmm. hustle. Mm -hmm. You cannot come and tell me now that you really need to have one so much money to buy a house in Lagos. That's a lie. That means you don't understand real estate. Mm -hmm. That means you can't even be with me. So mm -hmm. we are not even mentally inclined. Mm -hmm. Do you get? So mm -hmm. God has chased you for me. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. I don't even need to try so hard because comf you know to be comfortable, have a house, one car, your wife or your one girl. Car. It's okay, I, I, me, I don't mind to tell one car, one car, one car, one child, three car, one car for the children. It's okay, I bear, you got to thank you. <laughs> you got to thank you. No, the reason why I say one car is when the kids come, what you hey, guys Kids go do? get their own now. Kids and go so get their own car. Okay, okay. You know, so mm -hmm. one car, one car, you know, small car for moving around. But, but, guys, what do you think about that comment? See, first of all, let me even talk. This clip is from Toke's channel, okay? She had a session with Lillian Affair. Lily Affair, Lillian Affair, by I love Lillian so much. I feel like she's just real. She knows, like she's growing and she's just real, okay? So guys, if you don't know Toke, Toke is a YouTuber. See, who am I to even be talking about Toke? I never even blow. <laughs> now people when they don't blow, now they say, you can do where to check our channel, you can do where to click on the link to check. Ah, I never even blow. And then they talk of person maybe they don't blow. Toke is... <laughs> Anyways, for the papas and mamas in the house that subscribe to my channel because you love me and not because you are really a YouTube person, okay? So Toke is Toke Makiwa, obviously. <laughs> and she has a channel here on YouTube called Toke Moment. So she interviews celebrities like herself, asks them questions about life, about everything that's everything about, <laughs> if that makes sense. So she had a session with Lily Affair and they talked about single life they talk about how it has been for single ladies them in particular okay especially lily and lily said that lily said what you just watched down in the clip so you see that lily's definition of comfortable is hmm <laughs> that's not a comfortable person though that is a rich person somebody that has a building in his name has a car of his own a car for you, a car for the kids, that's three cars. <laughs> three cars in the compound, you guys. <laughs> this is hilarious. I don't know why I'm laughing, but now rich man be that old. That's not a comfortable man. Okay, yes, it's comfortable. Yes, but I mean, that's so I feel like you are going to be putting the person under pressure. It's a good thing, it's a good thing that you envision or you see such a man in the kind of person that you want okay it's a good thing and it's also like a push for the person that you're dating that oh why don't you think about having this in your name or why don't you think about doing this why don't you think about growing in this particular way it's a good thing okay if the person accepts it well the person can work towards getting all this for his or herself right but that is way 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 too much for the kind of life that we're living today in this regime a man with three cars a name, a, a building in his name, it's a rich man. 
that's a very rich man. I don't know what you are talking about. So, but that is a very rich man. As at now, this time that we're living in, people are breaking into people's houses to steal food. <laughs> so I feel like there are set, there are some ladies that have set the standards for themselves. They've worked hard. They built themselves. They've gotten to this stage. So they cannot just accept any person that is here. The person will have to be either be here or be here. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, so. And it's it's going to be quite difficult. It's going to be quite difficult because in this era we're living now, it seems like a lot of young ladies are doing so well, like much more well than guys of or than the opposite sex that are of the same age with them. Or even those that are not even of the same age but are a bit older or even older than them. How many mature guys do you see today when they say get three cars? Get beauty for their name. How many? Most bachelors now are living in rent. Yes, most bachelors now they have just one bedroom flat, two bedroom, maybe highest three bedroom, highest bachelor. Some might have a building in their name, which is fine. I mean, that's an, like an investment, you know, have a building in your name, which of course everybody will want. There was a time that I was serving in Abuja and uh, youth coppers were buying lands that time. People in my set will know this. They were selling lands for like 350k. 50k there was one land we saw for 300 and people were buying people bought lands you know and all that because it felt it was too cheap it was too it was too good to be true at that time so i mean you buy you leave it for a while maybe a few years and then you come back you see that okay that land that you bought like 350 is worth like 5m right now or it's worth like 10m right now you know okay let me sell it off or let me build it let me build something, let me start something and then, you know, put people in it and then be receiving rent at the end of the year and all that, blah, 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 all that shit. That's like an investment, okay? But what is the salary rate these days? Someone that is working in the bank, how much is the salary? Someone that is working as a marketer, someone that is working as a sales rep, even an engineer, even someone that is working in oil and gas, eh? Let's say you receive salary at the end of the month. The person still needs to save. I understand the fact that she said, Every month, you know, you be keeping something which is more like um, real estate. You know, you put something, you put something, you put something. You know, it makes more sense. But, ha, ah, that definition of comfortability is is high. You to me, oh, it's high. Okay, it's, it's it's high. But it's good. It's good that people should set these standards for themselves. If you meet somebody that matches up to that standard, kudos to you. Good job. Like. You know, if you meet somebody that does not, I don't know how that will work for you, but I feel like just know what works for you, okay? I might not be in the best position to talk about this topic, but I feel like I have some ideas or I know some certain things that I want to pass out there to people, okay? So this is my own perspective. If you are dating a guy or you are dating a girl and this person, first of all, the best person in your love language, that's the first thing know the love language of the person that you are dating if that makes sense like if the person likes care and attention and you're not that person that gives care and attention don't don't even start a relationship don't look at bomb bomb don't look at breast don't look at anything just leave that person alone because you're going to cause problem and that's why so many people have exes exes because they were not re they didn't know what they want at that time they were just like ah she's fine ah he has money ah he's a fine man Ah, she find get she get yash. She get hmm. That lead that will lead to so many separation, so many issues. Okay, so I'm not saying that it's not the physical appearance. Of course, you have to think at the physical appearance. The person smells good. The person is neat. You know, all those things it count. But what I'm trying to say is that if not the love language of this person, it will be easier for you to go with the flow in the relationship so this person likes gifts this person likes likes a public display of affection ah, hold my hand hold my neck kiss me here you know touch my armpits you know all those things and you're not used to it there's no point there's no point okay that's number one know the love language of your partner then if in the process of dating you find out that this person is stingy i don't know the definition of stingy for some of you all but i feel like in a relationship, there should be sharing, there should be giving. The Bible says when you give more, you receive what? You receive more. <laughs> so there should be this give, I give. You see something nice. Ah, I like this thing, it's going to fit my babe. Or ah, I like this thing, it's going to fit my guy. You buy it for the person if you can afford it. If you cannot afford it, you can save up to buy. But before you can buy those expensive ones, you should be showing like all these 
you know, I, I saw this thing, I just thought it would fit you. Yeah, I bought this for you. You know, those kind of things. It's, it warms up the relationship. It keeps it going. Like, it just helps the both of you bond more. Okay? It just shows that you people care about each other. Okay? Now, where stinginess comes in is when you know what we give. But in fact, you just want... <sighs> There are some people that are so stingy, down to food. <laughs> down to food, they are so stingy that they don't want to share. Now, those kind of people, they're not supposed to be in a relationship at all because the moment you decide that you want to be in a relationship, you have to learn to share. Yes. Because if you, if at the moment you decide that you want to be in a relationship, sharing should be something that should not be a problem because if that relationship eventually ends up in marriage, you start having kids, you are going to literally share everything with that child. Everything. There are times that I'll be super, super, duper hungry. And uh, my child has eaten. You know, my children have eaten. It's not my turn to eat. <laughs> they will not say, Mommy, Mommy. They come and sit down. <laughs> they will sit down. They will sit down and they will be like, Mom, I want. At that time, if I'm not, if I don't know how to share my stuff, I'll be like, "We get from it." I'm like, "What are we going to do?" We are sick. At the end of the day, they eat my food. So most times when I'm that very hungry, I'm like, "Ah, oh, we are, are they sleeping? Okay, what are they doing?" I just save my food and I just roll upstairs and eat. When I eat my satisfaction, and I'll come back and be like, "Are you hungry?" You know. So if you're not ready to share, then there's no need for you being in a relationship because love is all about sharing. Okay, that's number two. Number three, somebody that is temperamental. You know, people that have temper. Hey, when you see them, you take off your shoe and you do like this. Ha, ha. In fact, you will borrow my leg. Hmm? <laughs> you will run. Because temper is a very bad, bad sign in a relationship. Somebody that cannot put his or herself together, like self control. Somebody that don't have self control should not be in a relationship. The tendency for you to get angry in a relationship is there. Because your partner is going to annoy you. You both are perf imperfect. You, you both are, are, are two uh, uh, mortal human beings. Like, say full our body remains. So, there's no way that you will not offend me. I will not offend you, right? And this is where self-control comes in. So, if you don't have self-control, if you are very temperamental, if you are somebody that loses his or temper like fast, that could lead to something else. And that's not healthy for for both people so if you know that you have temper and you're working on it don't be in a relationship until you are you are fully aware that you know what i think i've grown to that stage where i can be in a relationship now no matter what my partner does to me i'm going to chest it i'm going to hold on i'm going to, i'm not going to react okay today i was with a friend and we're talking about how people can be self-willed so what that means is the willingness from you to stop doing some things needs to be there before other people, other foreign foreigners come into the picture to say they want to help you. Because if you are addicted to something and you are not willing to change, other people trying to help you will not be of any benefit. Okay? I learned something today and I'm so glad that I met that friend of mine because whenever I meet him, I always learn something. So it's, it's likewise to to this thing to be having temper if you're not if you're not willing to say ah no 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 ah this temper is not because when you are getting when you are angry when you are, when you get angry too much it affects your liver it affects your kidney you get old all the time you get wrinkled you get in fact short lifespan so many disadvantages no advantage oh. nothing when you they gain from anger oh. the best the best person feel die the best the best if you do something when you say you will regret for the rest of your life so no no nothing you will gain from getting angry the only thing that you gain is eh, ah, 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 and people will not be like hey, hey, hey mama. <laughs> that's total rubbish okay that's what i'll be like yeah. calm down Kelly. you need to calm down so deep breathing exercise really helps too as well so if you are if you know that you have anger or you might not even know if somebody tells you that ah you should you should calm down a little bit you should try to work on yourself try to examine yourself every now and then okay what what should i work on what can i work on how many of my bad traits are people complained about that i need to work on you know do that before you get into a relationship because uh, you cannot come abuse another man's child to be playing football that's that's that, that's bad so take care of that okay so the thing is if you meet somebody and the person takes 
60 to 70 percent of what you want in a partner i feel like you can work with your mini 30 to 40 percent yeah you can work with it because to be honest you will not see a perfect human being you will never see a perfect person if you're looking for that perfect person like oh 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 he loves me oh she loves me and everything you know if that's in me it's one day you know? in fact when you guys eventually get married you, know, you we now need to put in the work for that love to stay in fact love 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 will not you don't need to work on it okay you don't need to apply all of that things to make that love stay okay there's something i saw in the media recently i'm going to show you guys marriage is work staying with the same person for 50 years is work staying with the same person for 65 years that's work that's not just love that's work love works true love will work true love will make you work on yourself it will make you work on your relationship. It will make you work on your communication style. It will make you work on your tone. It will make you work on being home on time. It will make you work on cooking. It will make you work on cleaning. True love actually works. It ain't just a feeling, it's an action. I've been married for 23 years. I'll be married for 24 years, May 1st of 2023. Our love works for each other. We work at this. This ain't just we wake up every morning just in love. We work at it. And we've worked at it for 23 years. And that's why the relationship is so good. Juliet's my girl. You know what I'm saying? But we work at this. It's not just some, I woke up like this. I woke up like this. No, I didn't just wake up like this. I worked at this. I worked at this. We worked at this. But when you don't work, it doesn't work. If only one of you is working, it's not going to work. And so if both people don't show up with the tools or both people don't need at least show up with the mindset that, hey, we, 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 we want to make this work. So it's not just about in a relationship, it's easier for you to do, oh, he loves me. Because you're not staying with this person. You know, you're not living with this person. You don't know some things that, some traits or some habits that this person have. You don't know yet until you get married. And when you get married, you keep learning or you keep seeing new sides of your partner every day. And when you keep seeing that new side, you're like, is this really what it? <laughs> Am I supposed to be here? Yes, you're supposed to be there. You are supposed to be there because you're not perfect yourself. You know, there's some things that you're doing as well that your partner is like, ah, what? I didn't know you were like this. So, two of you need to, you know, communicate, like talk about, okay, I feel like married people should always, at a point in their life, or if not every time, every time, talk about, oh, what do you think I should work on? What, are, what do you think are my flaws? Like, how do you want me to? What do you think I should do better? When you talk about those things, eh, it helps. It helps the marriage. It really does help marriage because when you are married, you say that oh he loves me, oh he doesn't love me. It's not like it's not going to be there. It's going to be there, but it's not going to be like I don't know how to explain it, guys. I don't know how to explain for you guys to understand. It's not going to be like yes. We have to do this, we have to do that, let's plan for this, let's plan for that. Even though kids are not coming to the picture yet, but you are building an empire, right? Both of you are building an empire. It's good to set standards for yourself as, as regards relationship. Set standards, don't settle for less. People keep saying don't settle for less. The most important thing that I would say, guys, if you have watched up on this time, is spirituality, okay? If your spouse is spiritual, if your spouse holds God tight, like very tight if your spouse faith is very strong or shakeable faith mm -hmm, it's going to be hard for imperfection or satan to pierce through okay so this is what you should look out for look out for the spirituality of your spouse or your partner before saying i do look out for empathy look out for sympathy look out for giving and sharing look out for focus and driven people people that are focused people that are driven people that they are firm about their decisions people that they don't they don't waver people that are caring you know look out for all these things but if the 30 percent of what you want to work with maybe the other 60 70 it takes the box or she takes the box and you're really 30 you're trying to work on it overshadows that 60 70 but they don't go <laughs> end the relationship now <laughs> nobody could change for you for marriage that's just that's just the honest truth don't come and say hey, he's going to change she's going to change when i get married some people will say hey when you get married that's when i go settle down they're not settling down when you get married though there's work to be done Settle down what? I don't know who brought that term. Eh, it's time for you to settle down now. 
settle down, like you have to settle. Settle what? Not exactly. You're not settling down, no. You're working. I'm working. It's hard work. Okay? So, know all this before before saying I do. Know all this before giving into peer pressure of, oh, my friends are getting married, or, oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm of age right now, I need to get married. Know all these things. Okay? Don't be, don't be, don't fall into pressure. And set a standard that is reasonable. A very reasonable standard. Because if not, you're not going to see that person maybe say, maybe you have the mind of getting married. Because I feel like maybe 80 to 90 percent of you must love to get married to somebody one day and spend the rest of their life with that person and just have a partner right if you fall in that category of person then try to be realistic okay okay try to set reasonable goals like okay this is what i'm looking for this person ticks this box okay how can i work on this other box like how can me myself work with this other defect how can me myself work with other disability this other flaws how can i work with it because i myself i'm not so perfect and this person is trying to work work with my with my flaws too as well so know all these things and if you know all these things put you over god inside you're good to go at the end of the day is what is what we please our heavenly father that we're, we're trying to do right and once we do what pleases our heavenly father our heavenly father above our sweet daddy is going to guide us he's going to shield us from any bad or any terrible disaster that is going to happen at the front okay so just involve god whenever you feel like you are getting it wrong or you are not stable involve him and Jehovah God is going to definitely help you so this is my small talk okay I hope you enjoyed this I hope you learned one or two if you have something to contribute or if you have an opinion or something you can drop it in the comment section down below I will definitely reply and I will definitely learn from we are all learning right I'm learning you are learning so yeah it takes two <laughs> okay guys so thank you so much if you have watched up until this time i really do appreciate it. please consider subscribing if you haven't yet consider subscribing okay please and don't forget to like this video give this video a thumbs up please okay share this video if you find it very interesting and i'll see you all in my next video Mwah. bye